the man who couldn't move. You're just a no good down and out bum named Willy Luke. So you, well, why should a beautiful dame stop her custom built convertible to give you the eye? Hey, Lily, what? That broad is sure giving you the once over. You crazy? Why would she aim your, her peepers at hit me? Look, she's waving at you. Wants you to go over to her. You're not going to waste the time figuring it out. Any time a dish like her waves to you, you're going. You want me, lady? Yes. How would you like to earn one hundred dollars a week? Whose throat do you want me to cut? Nobody's. I'm going looking for a chauffeur. You can just, you can drive. The job is yours. This must be too good to be true. You figure there must be a catch to it. So he asks, why, Dick, pick on me? Why don't you tackle one of those uptown employment agencies? Because I want a man who really knows that needs the money. Are you interested in or not? You don't give her a chance to change her mind. A few minutes later, you're pulling up to private brownstone house, upper fifties. Here we, there is where we live. Come and I introduce you to my husband. Okay, by me. Herbert, this is my the new sofa I hired. You wait for her hus- husband to see say something, but he just sits there and s- stares. Finally, you whisper. He don't talk much, does he? He can't. He's completely paralysed. Now, do you realise why I hired you? Yeah, to be your chauffeur. Don't be a fool. I want you to murder my husband. The more you think about her idea, the more you like it. You have to, All you have to do, take her husband for a drive. Get in a funny accent. Make sure he gets killed. She should have ten million bucks. You'll get half. Yes, sir. Looks like one sweet plan. Well, Willie, it looks like you're going to be a billionaire pretty soon. Not bad for a bother bum, huh? Bet you know no hurry to commit the murder. you got another day, a better one. You, It's been a week already, Willie. Why, why are you going to do the job when I'm good already? How dare you talk to me like that, Willie? Let me go, let go of me, relax, baby. I've been thinking, you're going to need a new husband when you get your old one out of the way. I'm playing for the job. You leave her to think it over. You walk through the living room, right past the frozen, staring features of Philip Hunt, the man who cannot move. Hi, Mr. Hunt. Even though he remains motionless, you feel his eyes on you. All the time you begin to realise you've got to kill him soon is making you nervous. You walk outside and late at night. It don't matter to you. You've got a lot to think about. You've got a murder to plan. Sure, why shouldn't I marry her? I've done a, I'm doing a dirty work for her. Without me, she wouldn't inherit nothing till he dies of a natural death. Then you hear footsteps behind you. You turn. And then it's her. Willie, I made my, my mind. I'll marry you. You want me? Too, but you've got to murder my husband soon. Now that's that's more like it. So you kiss her. You can feel her fingers tighten around her little shoulders. You know she hates you, but it makes you feel powerful. She may have, has to marry you, and you have to years to make love. You have years to make her love you. Back in your room in the brownstone mansion, you have a tough time getting to sleep. For a few hours, you're going to commit a vicious crime. I can only be a few minutes. Uh, then I'm going to have to do everything I want. Finally, in the morning, you go to the garage to check the car. She ought to be here any minute. Willie, I brought my husband. Would like to go f- for a ride and a ride? Will you take him? Sure, Mrs. Hunt. This will be a ride you'll never forget. I'm going back to the house. Call when, me when you return. You start the engine and ease out the garage and pull Hunter's eyes on you in the rear mirror mirror. mirror, mirror, mirror. 
You drive through the crowded city streets till you realize the paralysis with Philip Hunt's eyes on you in the rear view mirror. You drive the car to the edge of the cliff and leave the motor idling with Philip Hunt's eyes on you in the rear view mirror. You get out of the car, reach out your arm, and you really release the brake. Happy landings, Hunt. Just before you get out your car, arm out, your sleeve is caught under the steering wheel. My arm! Then while the clambering car carries you down the mount- mountains, help! Uh, it's the last you remember for a long, long time. Finally, you wake up slowly. We're in the living room of Philip Hunt's house. His wife there, wearing black. That's good. It means Philip is dead. You try to smile, but you can't. You realise you can't move. The seat in a wheelchair. You can't even turn your eyes. You're helpless, paralysed, just like Philip Hunt was. But you hear voices. His widow is talking to someone. Hey, what's your old chauffeur, huh? He doesn't like to talk much, does he? He can't. He's completely paralysed. Now, do you realise why I hired you? Too bad, Willie. But you, but you, but can you guess what's in store for you? The only thing you didn't know is when it will be. When, when, the end.